Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to talk about how to make a strong Oblivion build. So a strong Oblivion build is one that you can use basically to make a high level character or you know someone that can do whatever you want and stuff like that. So the first thing that I like to do with this build um, is I always pick the warrior sign or the lover. Depending on, you know, sometimes the Atronach, very rarely, if you're doing a he super heavy mage, I pick an Atronach. But for the most part, I pick the Warrior or the Lover. And it's really, if I need more willpower, I pick the Lover. If I need more strength, I pick the Warrior, but I always get that Endurance buff. And then what I like to do is I always pick Endurance, and then a attribute that will help me with most of my skills. Usually it's Strength because of the combat bonuses. The first thing that I usually do with a, any build that I make is I pick whether or not I'm going to be sneaking a lot. And, you know, it's just very simple. If I'm going to sneak, I need to do it right. And then I always pick a ranged attack, I always pick a melee attack, and I always pick... So I always have two combat things, even if it's restoration and destruction. Two combat things. One is melee capabilities, one has range. And then I pick an armor type. I don't like playing this game without armor. The only time I, I will play this game without armor is if I'm role playing it or if I want to do a strong build, like a pure mage build. Even then, that's not the strongest build in the world. So I always pick a melee attack, a ranged attack, an armor type, and then I go with at least one to two magic spells, at least, magical areas. And it's just because you have a magic bar, you need to use it. Usually I pick an offensive and a defensive type magic. So the best combo uh, that I usually use is restoration destruction. Restoration to heal me, destruction to attack. And usually I use destruction as my ranged type attack. So right there is five skills, right? So you have your melee, your range, your two magic, and your armor type. The other two skills, okay? This is what I go with with the other two skills is I, I just pick literally between sneak, armor, alchemy, another magic spell, or sometimes block. And it really depends on how I want to play. If I want to play super tanky, I'll um, pick block. If I want to, you know, make potions all the time, alchemy. If I feel like I'm just going to have a lot of gear that I need to repair, then re repair. I usually don't pair up sneak and armor because if you're sneaking, generally speaking, your armor is going to take less wear and tear. So that's generally how I make a strong build, and these builds, the reason why they work really well is because, number one, is you don't have a bunch of melee skills. You don't have, like, blade, blunt, and hand-to-hand -hand all at once. If you do that, you're screwed. Just plain and simple, you're screwed. It's not going to work very well. You're wasting skills. You don't have athletics or speechcraft or merchantile, any of those kind of weird ones out there. And then you have a melee and ranged attack. Right? That can help if you're running away, if you want to sneak up on someone, if you have an enemy that is faster than you. It's many uses. Or if someone gets up close to you, you have a melee based thing rather than shooting a bow at point blank, right? Now, what I also do with the armor type is I always pick an armor type because, generally speaking, armor is just better than clothes. You can enchant clothes just like armor, except armor has the armor rating. Right? And then when you get to heavy armor, max level heavy armor, it doesn't even weigh you down if you wear it. So there's literally no reason to not pick an armor. Maybe you're going to be slow in the beginning, that's fine. But a couple things that you should avoid if you want to make a really strong class that gets to the top tier is don't pick too many magic classes. Too much magic can really ruin your build and stop you from just leveling up and growing it properly. There's a couple spell metas, like with Blade and Conjuration. The Conjured Up um, Blade that you can get is actually, in terms of normal damage, the strongest sword in the game, base game, with normal damage. So there's some metas like that. But if you go too much into magic, you're gonna be like, you're basically, it's gonna screw up into the next thing, which is you don't pick too many skills that have the same attribute, right? You don't want heavy armor, armorer, and block all as major skills because your endurance is going to get messed up and you're not going to always be able to hit a five point endurance level up. And these builds, 
the thing I like most about Oblivion is it's subjective. So, like me, I don't use Illusion. I think Illusion's a weak spell area. But there are other people who really know how to use Illusion and just naturally pick it up compared to Destruction. In my opinion, Destruction and Restoration and Alteration are the best spell sets in the game. But that's just me. So I would love to know what, how you make strong builds in Oblivion. That is my formula. I'll go over it one more time. You go with melee, range, armor, and two spells. A support and, or I guess a defense and offense spell. And they can multitask for your range, or they can't. So I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more Oblivion videos. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam it post of whatever I decide to make. Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. And in this video, we are going to talk about how to build a Pure Mage in Oblivion. The Pure Mage class. Now the Pure Mage class is very, actually a quite simple yet delicate class, okay? So first of all, you're going to have all, like, all of your main stuff. Um, you're going to pick all seven magic for your major skills. You're going to pick intelligence. And this is where it gets murky. You can pick Willpower as your second attribute, except if you pick Atronach, then you might not want Willpower. You might want something else. But to me, I pick Willpower just because then it makes spells cheaper, the spells in that area cheaper. So when you play the Pure Mage, and Magic Specialization, your Pure Mage, you have two races you need to pick from, either the Breton or the High Elf. Okay. Now, if you have the Atronox sign, the Breton might be a better choice because of magic resistance. Me, I just raid Alien Ruins and carry 5 million Welkin Stones and, healing ma and magic healing. That's just me. But if you don't want to do that, then go with the Breton. High Elf has more magic. Yes, there's slightly weakness to magic, but a High Elf has more magic than a Breton. Me, I prefer the High Elf because I like the higher magic pool. So when you play this class, you need to be very delicate with your level up process. If you want to do a max level character, you need to make sure that you're either leveling up all of your intelligence or all of your willpower areas in that. Or you can just go with the illusion and personality, but we don't talk about personality very much. It's ugly. Now how you do this mage is it is going to suck for nearly the whole game being this class. There's always going to be something screwing you up, whether it's Low magic, low magic items, not dealing enough damage, not healing enough, all of that stuff, all of that is related to issues that you're going to have with this Pure Mage class. Now, what you need to do immediately when you spawn in is get access to the Mages Guild, specifically the Arcane University. You need the Arcane University for all of the alchemical ingredients, as well as crafting your own spells and your own enchanting your clothes that you find. Because you're not going to be wearing a lot of armor. Honestly, the only armor that you're going to wear is... Uh, if you don't keep your wrist irons, is gloves. That's the only armor you're ever going to wear. Or, I think there might be other things that aren't armor that you can put on your wrist. I don't know. But, you're going to be weak. So you need to have some sort of strategy. Not only with your clothes, but with what spells you're going to level up first. Generally, in a pure mage build, I like to go... An attack, a support, an attack, a support, something like that. My main thing is I'll do destruction and restoration first, and then I'll focus on alteration, and then conjuration, and then mysticism and illusion are just kind of eh for me. They're not my favorite at all. I, they're probably my least favorite magic sets. And then alchemy, alchemy is where you're going to be able to power level intelligence. So honestly, this class, if you want to do max level efficiency, don't use any magic. Just level up your skills, your minor skills, and then max out on potions. So how I play this class is in the beginning, I buy as many alchemical ingredients and potions and gold, and I get as much gold as possible. And I buy as much restore magic and get as many welcome stones as possible. Later on, when you kind of have just, you can always buy that stuff and you don't need to save gold, I purchase either spells that I need or I save my gold to make spells that I need. Either way, that's the general strategy that I do this class. And it's very simple like that. However, you need to be delicate with your leveling up. Make sure you're not spreading yourself too thin. 
you really need a power level. Like to make like a higher difficulty level character, you need a power level. Like you need to just pick a magic thing that you need and that you're best at and power level it. Also, don't forget about staffs in this game. Staffs are really useful. I like to use staffs for my, for my ranged combat because I suck at ranged combat and they're a little bit more forgiving other than stealing my magic. I just need to do the soul gem stuff. But that's really it for this build, guys. I'd love to know what you think about it in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on Oblivion. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream or vlog, of whatever I decide to make.